One of the things you had mentioned is like, you know, what can I do now? My, my portfolio is down 20, 25%. Right. So this is really important. So the first thing is, and look at me when I say this, my friends, don't panic. Don't panic. All right, let's take a look at where you are and see where you need to go. I think one of the things that we want to address is if you were to take all of your money out of the market right now and get a 4% rate of return on it, right, just as a hypothetical low rate of return, would you still be able to maintain the lifestyle that you have now and do all the things that you want, even if it's down? Is that the case? Okay, cool, let's start there, right? And then we can build off of that. Now, if you're not retired yet, let's also talk a look at, take a look at when you need to use this money. If you're still working and you've got 10, 12, 15, 20 years to work, that's okay. This isn't going to be the last time that you have a market crash, hmm. likely, right? There will probably be more. That's, it happens usually every seven, eight, nine years. And every other year, we tend to have a double-digit correction. Where the market, or not correction, but a double-digit downturn in the S&P 500, where it will go down by 10, 15, 20% or more. And so we have to be prepared for these things, and we know that they're a possibility. But really what's important is, you know, in terms of safety, right, the closer you are to needing to spend that money, the safer that it has to be. Mm. Now, just because you might be retiring next year doesn't mean that all of a sudden you need all of your money to be safe. Hopefully, we're not going to be spending all of that money next year. Mm. Right? Wonderful point. So, so let's look at, all right, how much do I need to sell now to protect myself for the next couple of years? Maybe, in a worst-case scenario, we look at that. But that doesn't mean we sell everything. Mm. Right? We don't want to go and just take out the whole thing. Right? We, we want to be very selective and very purposeful in what we're doing and understand why. And as things recover, eventually, and I hope that they will, and the expectation is that they will because they have in the past, but that doesn't guarantee anything in the future. But with the likelihood that they will recover, maybe we can take some more steps at that time. But it's continued review, staying on top of what you have, and making sure that you know, whatever we're doing isn't going to give you heart palpitations at the end of the day.